Hi everybody, it's me Blanche and welcome back to Feast in the Middle East. Now I love cauliflower and there are a million ways to prepare it, but I say why not combine food and art? So in this episode, I'm going to treat cauliflower like a canvas for beautiful Middle Eastern ingredients. And it's all going to start right now. All right, as you can see, I've got a funky looking shaped cauliflower. That's because I already sliced the edges off. Now this dish is actually Lebanese in origin. It's cauliflower with caramelized onions and tahini sauce. But right now let's focus on the cauliflower. So I cut off both ends because we're gonna cut these sort of like cauliflower steaks. Now who are we fooling? I know this is not a steak, but this is what they call them when you just basically cut the cauliflower like this and then bake it in the oven because it's, you could kind of eat it like a, like a steak, right? So what I'm gonna do is after cutting the cauliflower, I'm going to put it on this dish, which I'm gonna bake in the oven and we're gonna season it very simply. So what I'm gonna do first is spray it with some olive oil. And I know some of you guys are like, why are you baking with olive oil? Well, that's cause that's what my ancestors did and they all lived in their nineties. And if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. But if you don't want to use olive oil, you can use avocado oil. But I really like the flavor of a really good quality olive oil with this. So I'm just spraying both sides of the cauliflower with the olive oil. And now we are going to season it with some salt on both sides like this. Salt, sea salt, Himalayan salt, whatever you like. Okay, and pepper. Let's flip this over and get some pepper here. And now uh, for the final seasoning touch, we're going to use sumac. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know what sumac is, it's like a berry, it's got a tart flavor and it gives a sort of like a lemony type of flavor to vegetables, fish, chicken. We use it with everything in the Middle East. Now this particular kind, I love this uh, brand Sea of Herbs and as a gift to you guys, if you're watching right now, if you, put the pro, if you go to seaofherbs.com, put promo code BLANCHE20, B-L-A-N-C-H-E 20, then you can get 20% off. This is literally from Jerusalem, guys. They will ship it to your door from Jerusalem and it's the freshest, most delicious. <sighs> I smell that fruity scent already. And what I'm gonna do is sprinkle it on both sides of the cauliflower. That's going to give it that Middle Eastern touch. And the final touch is some minced garlic. So I've got some minced garlic. I'd say about two cloves finely minced. I'm just going to sprinkle it on the cauliflower so that when we bake it in the oven, it's got a nice garlicky, garlicky flavor. I've got my oven set to 400 degrees and we are going to bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice golden brown. So let's do that right now. Now this is really going to make the dish, caramelized onions, because they add a beautiful sweetness and appearance. So what I do is I just take a huge onion, uh, actually we're gonna need a couple of onions for this, and I slice it in half like that. And then we're just going to slice it lengthwise. It's really easy to caramelize onions. People can get intimidated. There's really nothing to be intimidated about. So we just slice it in half like that. And you just take it apart with your, your fingers and you can see they come out in nice long slices to, ready to be caramelized. And you can like, see, just like that. It's, it's not difficult at all. So we're, I'm gonna go ahead and do this with the second onion and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to caramelize them. Okay, so here's a tip. If you, are really, uh, if you are really sensitive to the onions and it makes your eyes cry, I uh, actually chop onions like this with my sunglasses on. And conversely, I even use my son's goggles. So these come really in handy. They're even dirty right now, but <laughs> if I have to, I will even use goggles. It really helps. Like right now, I'm so used to this that it doesn't make my eyes water. But just a light, nice little tip to make cooking easier for you guys, okay? So that's my tip of the day. Uh, so now we've got all our onions sliced and what I'm going to do is uh, add some olive oil to the pan, probably about two tablespoons worth right here. And what we're going to do is wait for the, for the uh, olive oil to heat up before sauteing the onion. Just take like the 15 minutes or so to saute the onions and have some patience. It'll all be worth it in the end. So here we go. We're putting all the onions in here 
and you know listen to a good podcast that's what i do i listen to uh political podcasts while i'm sauteing onions and it makes it go by a lot faster so what i'm going to do is just you know over medium heat we've got it over medium heat oops is just saute the onions until they're translucent you want them sort of nice golden brown so i'm going to just saute this and stir this around for a bit I mean, at this point, they taste straight up like candy. You could add a little bit of seasoning at the end, like a little salt. But I mean, the flavor is so tremendous. You don't really need to add much to caramelize onions to make them taste good, honestly. And this is going to be part of the artwork that I'm going to create basically on my cauliflower canvas. You're going to see why I'm calling cauliflower a canvas in this episode. I say have fun with your food. Treat it like art. Get creative put your heart and soul into it, and it becomes more than just cooking. I'm going to make the paint for the canvas, okay? The paint is gonna be made with tahini. Now, tahini paste, uh, for those of you uninitiated, is uh, sesame seed paste. It's used in hummus, but it's also used in our sauces. It's a great dairy-free alternative to getting a creamy sauce. To add a nice sweet and citrus kick, I'm going to add two types of juice. We have three tablespoons of orange juice. I just use navel oranges, so three tablespoons worth. I'm going to add it right here. And I'm also going to add three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm going to season it with just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm going to add a teeny tiny bit of of uh, minced garlic, about one clove of minced garlic, okay? So this is going to be my sauce that I'm going to splatter my canvas with, okay? So right now the cauliflower is done. I actually made uh, another one so that I could expedite things for you and show you what the cauliflower should look like. Now we've got our cauliflower canvas. We are going to create our work of art, okay, shall we? We are going to start by taking these beautiful caramelized onions and putting it over the cauliflower right here. That's layer one. We are going to add the tahini sauce. It's gonna give those citrus notes, so just splash it. This is the paint on your canvas. We're just gonna splash it around. And if you wanna put some extra on the side, that's fine, but you don't need to put a lot. To that, I'm going to add some, a little bit of feta cheese. Now, if you are vegan and you don't want feta cheese, that's all good. You could just skip this step or add nutritional yeast, but I really like feta cheese with this. And this is cool since we've got uh, pomegranate pretty much all year round in supermarkets, but especially during autumn and, and winter when it's at peak season, add some, a few of these, just to kind of complement the dish, bring out that sweetness from the onions and some toasted pine nuts. I just took some pine nuts and toasted them in some olive oil on a skillet to get, bring out the nutty flavor. So we're gonna add some pine nuts. A little goes a long way, and I know pine nuts are expensive. If you don't want pine nuts, you could also use slivered almonds. You don't have to, or even cashews. You don't need just pine nuts. And then just for the final touch, we're just gonna put a little bit of, of parsley to bring it all together. You could serve this even as a Christmas side dish if you want with the red and green, it's really pretty. Just add a, a few on top. All right, now my favorite part is to try it. I want to get a piece of cauliflower with all the flavors in one. So I want like some of the pine nut, the cheese, the onions, the pomegranate, just everything. Let's give it a try. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. It's like a flavor explosion in your mouth. Now, for more recipes, as well as an update on my cookbook, which is coming out hopefully this winter, go to www.peaceinthemiddleeast.com. You can subscribe to my newsletter there, and that way you can get all my latest episodes. Of course, you could subscribe to this channel because when that book is completed, I'm going to be so excited, I'm gonna share it with the world. Until next time, sahdeh. More bite here, yeah. Mmm. This is my least favorite part, is eating in front of the camera.